but with uh, what were your key takeaways from this session sir it was an interesting uh, discussion and uh, quite uh, enthralling uh, about the indian industry's readiness for moving towards the green uh, revolution in the mobility sector which we have been uh, trying to do in a country for the last 5 6 years and i find that uh, the things are moving as uh, as per the plan of the government uh, but there are a lot of unanswered things and a lot of issues were raised during the discussion and uh, more important were the con uh, consumers readiness and uh, the various options for the range anxiety etc and they're all were discussed and uh, the conclusion which we arrived at is that the india is moving in the right direction and uh, the future is really bright but then the ecosystem and all the ecos all the stakeholders have to be there and have to move forward together uh, along with the government's leading role in, in hand holding and providing the support which is needy, needed needed uh, for the various stakeholders so uh, my first question to is like uh, how does uh, uh, pli and fame uh, schemes can disrupt the automotive industry uh, fame uh, and pli fame i would say first has already disrupted the sector in the sense that they have provided a uh, lot of lot of assistance to the two wheeler and the three wheeler industry as it was uh, planned and uh, as a result uh, now the focus on the fame is lesser from the government side and the budget is also reduced but it was because of the fame that the two wheeler industry has reached to the had crossed probably to the tipping point and now the ready adoption is there so that is something which has very positive come out of the fame scheme and the pli scheme uh, has certainly helped and it is going to be there in next 2 years time we will have uh, the cell manufacturing capacities in india by the leading uh, cell manufacturers so the pli has helped and i am sure that the government will also be providing pli for the component manufacturing which are there in the ev sector to give boost uh, to the adoption and uh, the localization localization of the uh, electric uh, vehicles so that is something which government has to look into my last question to you is like um, do you uh, do you see india as the biggest exporter uh, automo global uh, automotive exporter in the near future yes india has the potential we are uh, one of the largest manufacturers of uh, uh, the automobile particularly in the two wheeler three wheeler and the tractor segment we are the number one spot and in the passenger vehicle segment also we are uh, among the leading uh, manufacturers so we have the and the huge market is there so taking uh, advantage of the size and the scale which indian uh, economy and the indian market offers one can really take it forward to the entire globe so the issue is that the industry has to be prepared they have to move forward they have to make best use of the domestic market and the domestic uh, consumer and from there they have to move globally and take the leading position across the globe in the automobile sector and for that it is very important that we must uh, the industry must design and develop the products here uh, the evs uh, have not to be all the all the time based upon the iec platforms there have to be some born evs also which the indian oems are trying now so all these uh, efforts are being made i am i look forward to very bright future for indian electric vehicle uh, manufacturers and i think uh, India would be among the leading players in this segment. Uh thank you. Thank you so much for the interview sir. Thank you.